Yo guys, what's up? My name is Ben. Today I want to show yet another exploit on Abandoned Kingdom's first wall. So far I've shown uh, two different exploits on Abandoned Kingdom before this. This will be the third. Uh, the first one uh, used a gas pushing a uh, team T uh, my, or a hopper minecart and then using a fishing rod to get it back out it was really cool but that um, no longer is legal because you can't have any entities clip into bedrock including a ghast. And then the second exploit I showed was a phantom boat glitch which I actually used in a finals match. Uh, sorry, <laughs> USMZ um, used it to exploit the wool. Uh, but that's only possible in 1.7 and 1.8. Boats don't uh, like sink down anymore. They don't desync between the client and the server. So um, you can only do it in 1.7. Uh, but this glitch does work in 1.8 and any version. Um, this was actually found by Oz XH 2004. It wasn't found by me. Um, and you can use it not only on this wool, but on a bunch of wools. Um, pretty much any wool um, where the chest is inset just three blocks from the void lane. Um, that includes, for example, Beginner's Touch, both first wool and third wool. You can do it on Twisted Desert second wool. A bunch of other. Um, smaller maps. Wow, that's so windy. Second wall uh, is how we originally found it. And the basic idea um, that Oz discovered is that you could place a water block, um, and if you break out these two blocks like this, the water will kind of flow into the wool box, but then back out. So if you were to blow up the wool chest and have the wool entities fall in any of these three squares, um, then they would just be pushed out into the void lane and you could pick it up from below. You could also place a hopper to pick it up if you can't access below the wool chest. Uh, you could just place a hopper right here and have it pick it up, pick it up that way. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you it in action. action. Um, because of the uh, way the... Is that there actually? Like this because of the bias you need uh, when the TNT blows up you actually need to get lucky so this time it looks like it's gonna work because we have this wool right here um, and it's in one of the three spots in fact this wool might also work I'm not sure uh, kind of a weird example but uh, if I place our water now uh, we just need to replace a couple blocks this will work right here we place our water we should see oh yeah both wool get pushed into the void lane and you could just pick it up from down here. You could place the water from down here and just pick it up. Standing right in the void lane, that's perfectly legal to pick up entities through the void lane. Uh, but like I was saying, it's only 30% reliable. Um, a lot of the times the wool will clump up just under the wool chest or off to this side. Uh, I tested it like 25 times and got it about 30% of the time to bias in a direction. So this isn't something that you could really use in matches. You could use it if you were behind and like the only hope you had to have winning the game was to do this exploit and just, you know, try to get to 30%. Um, but it would definitely be really useful in speedruns, which hopefully at some point I'll come back to uh, speedrunning this map with this glitch. Um, also come back and run uh, Beginner's Touch. I'll definitely do because that saves a lot of time to exploit third wall. Um, I'll just show you real quick if I do it in survival mode. Let me join right here. Um, again, I might not get the lucky bias here, but I will try. So go ahead and do the explosion first. You can actually um, place the water before you do the explosion. Ooh, it looks like we got lucky again there. Um, you can do the water before you do the explosion, um, but I like to just do it in two stages. It's a little bit uh, more simple. So I'm just going to use some blocks I have. Go ahead and dig over to where I need to pick it up before I place the water. And we need to mine out this block right here. So now, if we place the water against that block I just placed, we should be fine. And then I'll dig over one more. Boom! I got the wool. Uh, yeah, like I said, you could do it on a lot of maps. Try it out for yourself, but. I wouldn't be too willing to use this in a tournament. Um, definitely a decent backup plan, but um, not something you should maybe try 
um, straight off the bat. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.